So continuing on with generating our list of keyword ideas, we've already talked about how to use forums to generate a list of keywords. Now let's talk about some other ways that you can also continue adding to that list. So outside of all the tools and platforms that I'm going to be talking about, of course, there's your own mind. And I always encourage people to write down any keyword ideas that they may have initially off the bat, because you may come up with some terms that you won't find other places. And sometimes those do get searches. Sometimes they don't, but sometimes they do. So write down anything that initially you may want to cover or that you may want to have on your site or in your content because that's going to give you the, the, first, the first place to go ahead and, and, and research that. After we cover all this other ground, that's just gravy on top. You know, we're probably by the end of this, we're gonna have a list of a couple thousand keywords, then we're gonna have to go remove the dupes and then we'll put them into our different tools to gather that, that data on all the terms, right? So that's kind of um, our process in a nutshell is we wanna gather as many different keywords, I, keyword ideas as we can on our topic in our market and then remove all the duplicates and then go ahead and calculate what all that data is, find the search volume, the competition, all that good stuff so that we can then make the best decisions on our terms for our content and our, our website. So go ahead and grab your list of keywords and just write down any terms that may come to your mind for things that you want to offer. So I already have my, my list started here and I said we were gonna be doing the online marketing niche. So uh, let's just continue on with that. I'm going to take out payment processing because that's not what we're gonna be covering at all. We can also talk about, um, let's see, digital marketing books, digital marketing guide, you know, all these types of things, digital, marketing course you know just go on and on and on and obviously it doesn't just have to be digital marketing da, da, da. it can also be things like you know other words for that like online marketing course or internet marketing course and yes there is a lot of you know hands-on human work that's involved in keyword research but it's worth every single moment because Honestly, I've, I've never been able to outsource keyword research and have it done by another person as good as I can do it. But also I'm a little biased in saying that because I am a keyword researcher by profession. So of course I'm a little bit picky when it comes to, you know, choosing my terms and uh, the, the research that they provided me and how they sorted everything and whatnot. But, I just want to tell you, if you're doing this for yourself, especially, don't skimp on it. You know, really do it well, especially the first time around, because it's going to make everything else so much easier the next time that you do it. And the reason I say that is because once you already have an initial list of keywords, let's say it's a couple thousand keywords that you want to go and plug into Google Keyword Planner to see what the search results are, whatever tool, it's just going to make it so much easier. Maybe the next time that you want to go and you know, six months down the road, you want to check what the search volumes are because you will need to do that. Every few months, these things are going to change. Some terms are going to go up in popularity. Others are going to go down. Just kind of like the stock market, it, there's a fluctuation in the market. So you do want to recheck those things every few months. Now, if you have Longtail Pro Platinum, you can go ahead and check the organic competition as often as you'd like because that does change quite frequently but i can say that from experience from overall the numbers stay generally the same for about three to six months so at the three to six month mark that's when i would go ahead and refresh your keyword research again now um once you have you, you've added your list of of keywords that you've brainstormed you know, just think of as many things as you can. Just write down until you literally can't think of any more. And then, once you're all out of ideas, 
Now is when I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you some other sites where you can find a bunch of other keyword ideas. So the first place would be Quora. Uh, Quora is a FAQ site and it's, I, I don't recommend Yahoo Answers. It just kind of tends to uh, attract just not the most intelligent people. Quora is a better place to get FAQ, like an, uh, a QA and a type of site to, to follow because you're going to get people that are actually posting relevant questions that, you know, take some thought. <laughs> Quora is a great place to go for problem-based keywords or, or to even find out what people are having challenges with because obviously these are all questions, right? So this is a great place to go and, you know, let's type in digital marketing since that's what we've been going with. Obviously, they have different uh, topics there and you can choose any of those. So what are the what are good ways to learn to become the best digital marketer? And then you have a bunch of answers, right? So you can go in through here. Honestly, on Quora, it's more important to look at what the questions are than even what the answers are. Um, now, if you're tr way stuck, if you're really stuck and you're just like, oh, I want to get more keyword ideas, but I just, I don't know, then go ahead and, and click into these answers and they may be giving you some keyword ideas as well. Because like here, you know, full service digital agency, that could be a keyword in and of itself. Best selling author, that's a keyword. Entrepreneur, investor, those are seed keywords. I would stay away from those. You know, digital marketing strategist, there's another good keyword. What is digital marketing? What are the basics of digital marketing? What is digital marketing strategy? Who needs digital marketing services? So these are all like the each one of these phrases could be a keyword phrase in and of itself. So we could all we could add all of these to our list. You know, what is digital marketing? That's one. What are the basics of digital marketing? That's two. You know, what are what is a digital marketing strategy? That's three. Right? So all of these things can be uh, keyword phrases in themselves. Now, I said that, I mentioned that one because these are very common questions that a lot of people are going to answer, or I'm sorry, ask. This one, which are the top digital marketing agencies in India? Probably I wouldn't go with this one so much, but especially because I'm here in the States. If, if you were in India, then that would be a good keyword to go after. You know, if you had a digital marketing agency, that would be a, perfectly viable keyword. So a digital marketing industry, advantages of digital marketing. So you just kind of get where I'm, I'm getting these keyword ideas from, you know, best book about digital marketing, like is a digital marketing books. That's always a great uh, keyword term, adding books to the end. Career in digital marketing. Now you'd want something like this, like a job in digital marketing or career in digital marketing only if you were at the place in your company and business where you were actually looking for people to hire. Otherwise, you know, a career in digital marketing, this keyword isn't going to serve you too terribly much, but it's perfectly fine to go and add to your list of keywords. We will talk about segmentation later on. So for now, just gather all the keywords that may look valuable to you and like something that you would be talking about. How important is content in a digital marketing strategy? Again, yeah, that's another place to get a lot of great keyword ideas. 